Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Tito back with another video and I finally managed to unlock the bootloader of the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Yes, and that is without binding the account. Yes, it was showing 86006 error when I tried to add my account in MI Unlock. But with even that, it is now unlocked. How? Well, you do not need to have to bind your account right now for Redmi Note 5 Pro. So, without even binding the account, and without even registering your phone in i.mi.com, you can unlock, I can pretty much confirm. Because in i.mi.com, my phone was not showing there. It was showing like zero connected over to the top left, where it will show like your device is online. But find device was working, but without even that, you can unlock right now. So how to do that? Just open me unlock in your PC and just enter your email id and password of your account connect the phone in fast boot mode with your pc and just hit unlock it will get unlocked but do remember guys back up everything in your device because it's gonna wipe everything from your phone yes my phone is wiped right now i did not back up so i lost everything but that's not a problem for me so as of now you can do unlock your phone without getting any permission so let me flash the Red Wolf TWRP recovery quickly over here. Why I am choosing Red Wolf because I want to test that and let me flash a ROM. I am thinking about reselection remix. Let's see. So as you can see, I have created a new folder in my desktop. Inside that we have the ADV drivers and recovery and the commands text. All the links for these will be listed in the description box below. So do not worry. For the adb drivers you just have to open this file and type y and enter multiple times i have already done that so let me just rename the red wolf recovery file to just recovery so that the code becomes easy and in the commands note file we have the commands that we will need to flash now just switch off your phone and boot into fast boot mode by pressing and holding the volume down and power button together. Once you are booted in fast boot mode, just connect the USB cable with your PC. Now go back to your PC again and hold shift on your keyboard and right click on the mouse on the blank area of the folder at the same time. Now click on open command window here or open powershell window. Do not worry, both work the same way. Now just open the commands file. Copy the codes and paste it on the command prompt. Or you can just type it fastboot devices and press enter. You will see fastboot devices is detected as you can see like this. Now we need this command fastboot flash recovery space recovery name dot img. As I have changed the recovery name already, so let me retype it over here. Now just copy this code and paste it on command prompt fastboot flash recovery recovery.img and hit enter. And boom, we are done on the PC. Now go back to your phone and hold the volume up and the power button together. Until you feel a vibration, do not leave them. Now you can leave them. And now as you can see it shows red wolf TWRP. So now just keep patience. It will take 30 to 40 seconds to boot into recovery for the first time. For the first time it will ask for password because the storage is encrypted. So do not worry just hit back and swipe to allow modifications. Now hit install and tap on select storage and as you can see internal storage shows as 0 MB of course because it's encrypted as it used to happen with the Redmi Note 3. Now just go back go to wipe and tap on format data once. Now type yes here and hit this right button. Note that it will erase everything from your storage even MIUI. 
Once that's done, go back, go back, hit install again. Tap on select storage. And as you can see, internal storage shows its size now. But we do not have the ROM file and GFs file in internal storage. So what do we do now? Well, grab an OTG and a pin drive. Now just move the ROM and GFs file to the pin drive. Once you have done that, just connect the pin drive with OTG to your phone. Oh, the lock screen is kinda like something from GTA 5 of Red Wolf Recovery. Looks pretty damn cool, I gotta say. Now swipe to unlock and tap on select storage again. Now tap on USB OTG. Now tap on OK. Now select the ROM file and GApps file. Yes, you can flash firmwares too, but I was on latest stable build of MIUI, so I do not need it as of now, I think. Now just swipe to confirm flash and make sure your pin drive is connected while this whole process as it's installing from the pin drive. Once the flashing is done, now just hit reboot system and have a coffee. Don't have too much though. Here we have the Resurrection Remix boot animation. And yeah, I'm gonna review this ROM on this device soon, so do stay tuned for that. Let me just complete the setup here quickly. And yes, looks like fingerprint scanner, Wi-Fi, camera, everything working fine here. First impressions by the way. Here is the about section if you are into that. And god damn, latest April 5th security patch and a hell lot more customizations. I mean who doesn't want that? Let me show you the camera now. So I think you can't turn off front camera flash as of now. Maybe it's a bug or maybe I am unable to find the option as of now. And the front camera as you can see detects as 20.1 megapixels. So that's pretty cool with the stock camera app here. This is the Snapdragon camera app I guess. Man I can't believe my eyes right now that I just installed Resurrection Remix on Redmi Note 5 Pro. Pretty much never gonna go back again to me why? At least for my daily driving. I hope this video helps you, if it did please do hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. So that wraps up this video guys, thank you so much for watching. If you loved it, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for many more awesome custom ROMs on Redmi Note 5 Pro. So that's pretty much it, thank you so much for watching, this is Tito from Carry and Day signing off, I'll see you in the next one, peace.